Good morning. So we are up and at them this morning. We got some stuff that um, we're going to show you that we did yesterday. But I um, thought first I would take you into the wax room because if you remember, this room was filled with wax before the RTS last week. Um, so we have cleaned out a lot, really and truly. So I just thought I would kind of take you around. You can kind of see um, what things look like now. It was clean for about five minutes and then, you know, you, I worked and it got disgusting again. Not disgusting, just, you know, it's just kind of a mess again where I put everything. But I also want to show you some things that Matt did yesterday because he was a busy little worker bee painting around the house because we have you've probably seen in the videos we have some places that have never been painted in our house so he was working on that like for example this was just um a natural wood color yesterday and now it's a beautiful shade of white i'm so excited um like the door frames he did some of those still gotta put a board up there yeah still need a board up here but he got the door frame painted. Um, so I'll show you a few things that he did yesterday because I'm so excited. It's been, what, two years? Two years in the making. It's been over, it's been a little bit over two years since we moved into this house. So we're still getting things the way we want them. Um, I'll show you some things we're gonna do in the kitchen. So I'm really excited. So you'll get some befores and afters in some of these videos too. So let's look at the wax room real quick. Okay, and then over here we have some stuff that I'm testing for the pine cone sampler, um, some other things. We have lots of soap over here. This is, I used this um, the other day. This is cranberry apple marmalade. That is probably one of my favorites. But my ultimate favorite is roasted pine cone. It is so, so good. Um, so we've got a few different scents that we're kind of letting sit and seeing how they develop. Um, this over here is like my personal wax stash of things that I think smell really good. So I just decided to keep them. Um, got some more uh, customs that I poured. So I'm kind of letting them sit for a day or two before I sniff them for you and see how we like them. Um, this is a funny story. I was telling Matt about this the other day. So this is, I've had a bottle of like the volcano fragrance oil, like the volcano type for almost a year. And I really thought, I love it. I mean, it smells really good, but I thought, man, I will be using this all the time. But we don't have a lot of like fruity scent lovers in our group right now. And I kind of started gravitating more towards bakery and all of that. So um, I didn't use it. And then I just poured some just offhand the other day and I took some um, to a lady just to let her try it out. She loved it and she told other people and now they want it too. So now I have to order a whole nother bottle of that volcano and I haven't used it in almost a year. So it's just funny. You just have to find the people who like some of these scent oils. You kind of start thinking, well, nobody wants that. I'm not going to make that. And then one day you're like, I got to order about two bottles of this now so that's something that I made that smells really good we'll probably add that to a list too because this is it's volcano pink sugar and a little bit of sweet strawberry and it smells really good okay and then we have kind of a mess behind me but um, Matt worked on kind of this area yesterday he was painting door frames and baseboards and over here the stairs the stairs were a big <laughs> one of those big things that drove me crazy but he kind of trimmed out the stairs and painted them white and we're gonna add some more trim and repaint a couple of places um, and I think we're actually gonna paint like the what's it called kick plate kick plates. kick plates of the stairs we're gonna paint those so our staircase looks really cute and pretty so we've got a lot of fun stuff like we're finally at the point where we can start finishing things out two years later <laughs> Um, so I'm really excited about that. That's kind of what we wanted to use December for because we knew we'd have a little bit of extra time right around the holidays and all that. So December is when we're getting a lot of this done. Behind me, I have kind of my customs holding spot, I guess. 
So I've got um, bags that were requested in the custom orders. So I'm going to start getting those organized. I'm about probably about halfway done doing those at this point. Just waiting on a couple of oils that will get here by Friday to finish up these orders. So I'm going to get these kind of situated and organized today and just get a few more things cleaned up. I'm going to work on labels because, you know, we're redoing all of our labels. So I'm going to work on that a little bit later today. And I have my pour list here for my customs today. So that's kind of what the plan is. Had a good day today. Got a lot of stuff done. You did? Yeah. my hand, I think I got all the paint off. Not, not really, though. No, you didn't. Um, he's been busy. We've been getting, I got some painting done. Probably be painting some doors tomorrow, maybe. We're getting doors. Yeah. That's just don't so say that. <laughs> they don't wanted need to. doors for so long. They don't need to know that. I've wanted doors for so long. I'm gonna be painting doors tomorrow, so yeah, that'd be good. More trim, painting some doors. Um I would like a vote. I would like to cast get some info from the viewers should we put up a ceiling downstairs yes I'll cast my vote now okay please okay who knows what that would do for the wax testing if we had a ceiling that's true might we'll actually see. be able to smell it that would be amazing but no you did get a lot done oh yeah um you got a lot done too. Yeah, I've been working on the custom orders and they turned out really, really well. Um, I think personally. Um, they were also blends that I've already done before, so I didn't really do anything brand new today. Um, but the ones that I did yesterday, like the actually like truly custom blends, I think they turned out really well. I smelled them a little while ago and they seem like they're coming along pretty well. I like them. But he did, um, I want to circle back to this stuff though. You did get a lot done though. Um, starting to look really good. Lots of paint, lots of trim, um, and then doors, like he said. Um, we do still have a few rooms that need doors, so we're getting there though. Um, and then next week we're getting new countertops, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So excited. Definitely mm -hmm. have to show you those. Um, I'm not going to show you the before on the countertop that's behind us by the sink, but that's where I was pouring for about, what, five, six months? Mm -hmm. And just completely, it's like a butcher block countertop, and we painted we it. painted over it. And, and it just destroyed that countertop. So oh, the, the heat from the, the heat pot and, and that the, kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, very excited to get a new countertop. Yep. Well, for all of them, but this island back here will stay like the stained, yep. but we're going to get white countertops for everything else. And I'm so excited. We're going to finish painting the cabinets um, because the cabinets are white for the most part right now. But I had, when we moved in, I had this grand idea that I wanted like the dark green countertops. Countertop? Cabinet. I mean, cabinets, cabinets, like the base cabinets. Um, I wanted the dark green. And it's beautiful in most houses, but I am terrible, absolutely terrible at picking paint colors. Awful. And that's why every all the walls in this house are white because I just, I can't pick, I can't pick paint colors. But the green that I chose is like a- Christmas jungle. green. Yeah, like Christmas, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not good. So we're just gonna paint them white because that's just what I should always stick to. And um, we'll get that done. And so we'll show you an after of that as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff yep. happening around here. Yeah. What? Well, so, okay, I'm going to brag on that, but also kind of roast you a little bit at the same time. <laughs> so This is going to be good. <laughs> he is so good at this kind of stuff. Like the, the house... He built this house. You built a house. Yeah. You built the whole thing, the ground up 
just him. Like, we're not even talking, like, oh, some contractors came in and did this, and but he did... No, he did it all, except for concrete. Mm-hmm. Someone someone did the concrete. Yep. He did the rest of it. It was all him. So, he's very good at this, but you put things off, though. I do. Once, once it gets to a... Once it got to a livable point, like, we moved in... And it was livable. It was it was fine. It was great. But you're not big on the finishing touches. Well, yeah, and that's a... that's like that's what I, I need. <laughs> it took me a long time to build, and after I got done, I was like, I'm taking a break. <laughs> Which is understandable. It took you like three and a half years to build this house. Yeah. And now it's been two years. It's time. Yes, it is. But what I was going to say is we had a fixer-upper. Our first house was a fixer-upper. Big time fixer-upper. Big time. Oh, big time. And we had, we lived there for about five years. Yep. And we had all these grand plans and projects that we were going to do. And one day we just up and decided, hey, let's sell this house. Let's just sell this house. The realtor came in and said, okay, here's a long list of stuff that you need to do. Yeah, You probably need to fix this over here. You might want to put some paint on that over there. And and it was all stuff that we had already like planned on doing. We just didn't get around to it. He knocked it out in 48 hours. That house was sold in a week. And it's like... That's that's exactly like what's going on here right now. Yep. It's like all these little projects you could knock out in 48 hours. Yep. And it's time to get it done now. But it's been two years. <laughs> yep. It's time to get it done. But I love you for building this house. You did a great job. Sounds like it. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. That's why I was like, I'm going to brag on you. But at the same time, two years. Oh, yeah. Two yep. years. But no, it's going to yep. look good. Um, and this is our forever home as far as. As, as far, far as we know, as far I mean, as we can see. only the good Lord knows that. But yep. that's that's how we built the house. No, yeah, yeah. That's that's how we built it in mind. But anyway, so we're gonna work on that this next the next couple of weeks before January yep. ramps up. Less of me, more you needed to smell something. Oh yeah. So someone posted in the Facebook group. I think it was yesterday, or may, may have been the day before yesterday, um, that they warmed sweet blackberries and Palo Santa at the same time. And I was like, oh, I need to try that. I need to sniff that and see what it's like. Because, I mean, obviously sweet blackberries is what it is. And then Palo Santa, you know, that's our donut shop and Palo with the roasted pine cone. So, thought I would just take a little sniff. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is so good. So good. Summer did such a good job with that. And then that sweet blackberries. Okay. I don't hate that. The berry with the... See, I smell things better when they're in the bags. Because I feel like they've been in the bag, so like all that scent is just kind of trapped in there. Yeah, that smells good, but I get mostly Palo Santa. When I take things out of the bag, like, it's harder for me to smell. Like, I gotta have the whole experience, I guess. But no, that does smell really good together. So if you happen to have, like, a blackberry blend, maybe try it with Palo Santa, because that smells really good. So thank you to whoever posted that. Um, I wish I had looked up the post before we did this. Um... But yeah, other than that, we're just getting ready for Christmas. Got all of our Christmas shopping done. Do you have all your Christmas shopping? I got one gift, one thing left to buy. For me? Actually, yes, it is for you. Shocking. Shocking. Ah, okay. <laughs> you know, I like to put things off. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, let us know your Christmas plans. What you guys are doing and... Let us know if you mix stuff like like that too. Yeah, let us know if you have any good blends. I saw that someone uh, someone else just posted. Let me see another good blend, and I don't think I have peppermint sugar. Okay, Noelle posted in the Facebook group a few minutes ago um, Christmas wreath and peppermint sugar cookies. She um, did a mix of that, so that actually I don't think I have any more peppermint sugar cookies. 
but I would like to try that because Christmas wreath is just my, it is one of my all time favorites. All right, but you guys have a great day and we will talk to you soon. God bless.